Welcome back guys. We're uh, camping out on uh, some BLM land in northern New Mexico. Take a look. It's just beautiful. Just stretches forever. I love it. Anyway, to the task at hand. We have our harness. As we left off last time, we um, dismantled the harness and took away all the cut wires so now we have just the uh, the essential wires to the harness um, we've got some masking tape to label some wires temporarily we have the ECU pinout and some tools so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started identifying some things um, let's just go over it real quick again we have the ECU uh, plug this plugs into the computer itself. These wires here were identified, um, well not identified, they were pulled out of the, the main harness here and uh, we found that they terminated at the ECU connector but were cut on the other end so we need to identify these. Okay, and then we uh, come around here and we notice that the harness T's or Y's. So on the left side, we go into the engine compartment. So these are your engine connectors, your O2 sensor connectors, igniter, starter wire, and yeah, pressure sensors, and the mass airflow sensor. Come back to that Y. And we go this direction, and we have the Subaru Select Monitor Connector. And once again, this is to, uh, you know, I would keep this in case you ever had problems, you needed to take your VW to a shop and have them plug in, if they have the capability to do OB, or, um, Select Monitor, they can scan the, the computer. We have the OBD2 port, and we have the main ignition relay, the brown, and we have the fuel pump relay, which is the green connector with just a typical Subaru import round uh, relay. So we're gonna jump in here and take a look at the ECU pinout and identify these guys first. And then we're gonna just go down the ECU chart. This guy here, get yourself one of these from one of the links I provide. And we're just gonna go down the list. Um, so normally I don't do that when I'm doing a harness, but um, we're just gonna do that just for clarity's sake. And these guys here, normally I just I, uh, identify those and uh, make sure all the connections within the harness are good. That's how I do it myself, but follow along and we're going to get started here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go and print this out. It's an ECU pinout um, IO signal, kind of hard to see on this, but IO signal sheet. And that stands for input output signal. And uh, the link will be in the description to where you can get this sheet for your year and model. And uh, generally the years match all models, but this one in particular is in 1996 to 1998. 1990 uh, to 94 is four bright yellow connectors. 95 is a single connector, just like this 96 to 98. And 99 and up is three or four connectors. So what we're gonna do is uh, pay attention to um, two columns, connector number, since this is a single connector, it's just, it has one single identifier, and that's B84. And then we have the terminal number. So each terminal, each pin on the ECU is labeled. So it starts here in the upper right at one, and goes to 16, then 17 through 44, then 45 through 70, 71 through 96. So what we're gonna do now is start identifying these 
loose wires that we found loose in the harness that end up at the ECU here. Now that we're ready to start, we're just going to um, work from right to left here. So this one right here is a green red and it's the third pin over on the bottom row. Third pin over. So now let's take a look at third pin over. So 71, 72, 73. And let's try and find it here. Okay, 73, radiator fan relay two. So we're not actually gonna use this on a bus. Um, we're gonna use radiator fan relay one for a bus, but we're gonna keep it in case we want it to trigger something else. Um, if we do eventually end up using it on a bus, we can. So let's cut it uh, about a foot away. And okay, so rad fan two is taken care of. Let's do the next one over. This is a um, red blue, one, two, three, fourth one over on the bottom. And that is 74. Let's check over here. 74 is Rad Fan Relay 1 control. We are going to use this. So I'm going to leave this one kind of coiled up long. But I am going to label it. Okay, so Fan Relay Control 1 is labeled and I left a lot of length on it. Uh, the reason why I use Fan 1 and not Fan 2 is just for simplicity um, on the buses. So I just have one relay for um, essentially high speed. So when, when it gets hot enough in the cooling system, the one fan is tri or you know, dual fans if you're using Subarus, um, is triggered by this relay control. And what that does is it just kicks those fans into high gear right away. It doesn't, normally this kicks in low speed and then fan two kicks on high, high gear essentially. So I just go straight to high and I use fan one for that. You can do this on a bus or a van again or any other swap that you're doing. That's just how I do it. Feel free to to do it differently if you like. So now uh, we have this guy here. It is a green, light green, black. And it's actually the second one to the right on the middle section here. And that is actually pin 82. So let's find pin 82 here. That's the neutral position switch. So I'm just gonna label that right now. Okay, next up we have green black and that was right next to the last one neutral position switch and This guy is the first one over on the right from the middle We go here. We see that it's pin 83 and Pin 83 right there vehicle speed sensor 2 There aren't two that we're concerned with, we're only concerned with vehicle speed sensor two. There isn't a vehicle speed sensor one on this sheet. So we're just gonna keep that long and label it VSS.